-hmm. Welcome to Smokey Stephen Mark. I'm Mark. I'm Steve. Yeah. Welcome or welcome back. Nice to see you. Uh, nice to be seen mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. I don't know, a little hump day uh, visit for you. Hump day. It's at 12.45, my work week is half done. I've crunched the numbers. 12.45 <laughs> yeah, on a it. Wednesday. <laughs> Not that I don't like going a little early or, or whatever, but... Yeah, I yeah, do. yeah. Well, I was outside working in the garden, so forgive, you know, forgive the mess you here. But fine. Oh, I didn't even do my hair. Yeah, right. I did get a cut, you know. Oh, I yeah, you did a get a haircut. Really handsome barber that did it. I'm yeah. almost turned on. I'm the same. I don't charge. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> did. He did cut it. I'll sell it for. Uh, yeah, I try to square off the back and keep it like a wide mohawk. Yeah, so it's about this wide in the back. Yeah, so um, but when I'm out in the garden, I don't mess with oh, it hat goes on yeah that kind of thing and i so. only did a little bit of work at, at home this morning you know i didn't go into work i was mm -hmm. working from home yeah da, da, da. Hey, cat. <laughs> hey, kitty cat. hi baby did you say hello hi. he came to say hello <laughs> he wants he wants this he wants to be the center he does here. the you whole video here you can sit over here. it's There's not space. just to be the center he wants us to be out of the way too he does he wants yeah he true. wants the whole camera <laughs> well oscar's right here yeah oscar's right over there in the He's corner like two feet away. <laughs> my little <laughs> cinnamon bun <laughs> you're not to band it yes but we thought we would uh my angel would pop in and say hello because i did promise you a garden video mm -hmm. and it's been a while and people have been asking and yeah. uh boy do i wish i had more to show you um you know the thing that i'm it's just me doing it and mm. admittedly it i the plans were grandiose we'll yeah say that. i did I, like huge huge and it's a lot for one person but i did get a lot done and uh, i wanted to update you on that and show you how that's coming along and maybe we'll be back later with a little recipe or something maybe or maybe thing. i think we could manage that i think we could manage that too but we did want to tell you though tomorrow night 7 30. oh yes i will be going live with craft by j uh and we're going to be doing a live stream uh, crafting uh mm -hmm. together so definitely um go over to jay's channel tomorrow at 7 30 our time here at 7 30 eastern Starting. standard time and, and check it out it should be a lot of fun you know me and lives mm -hmm. i fumble them and i'm nervous and everything but uh this will be with both me and jay in a collab and uh it's a, a beach themed mm -hmm. like summer beach themed yeah. uh craft session so uh so see you tomorrow night for that okay but for now why don't we head outside and i'll show you what's going on in the garden Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, 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 there we are. So as you can see, it's a mess <laughs> yes it is but one thing i like about these garden updates is that i can when i go through everything with you i can see you know just how much i really did get done i have a tendency to be well you know pretty hard on myself <laughs> um you know you didn't get enough done and blah 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 but it's just me doing the garden so but anyway um uh so over here is steven's blackberry bush look how big he got He's doing really well, and the herb garden is doing very well, too. It's all growing, and um, again, we have chives, tarragon, sage, basil, rosemary, parsley, olive oil, mint, peppermint, spearmint, chocolate mint, ginger mint, ooh, <laughs> and then moving on down, our thyme garden, and then we have English thyme, uh, lemon thyme, ginger thyme orange time uh woolly time <laughs> and uh, and then uh right here is the oregano and our lemongrass and um i'm still working on the uh the little kind of french drain here you know up there is that pipe and it pours water out but i'll tell you since i did do this look the time has all come back now so these will all grow i was afraid i would have to get all new ones but look even this one here he's coming back too and then the ones down here they they already did but anyway and how about the moss the moss that we did last year it's all growing really nice all the way up on that wall and i just still have about maybe three feet left to do up top there and so. our onions are doing well 
We have the rays to put them in the, the containers there. They're doing well. And then over here, we have uh, one pallet there. And in front, these are uh, green beans, which will grow all up there. Over here is, oh, our celery all took and is growing. I have them covered because of critters. I have the these in, uh, but I didn't put the, the gate around it yet. And then, okay, don't judge. Back here is the uh, pumpkin patch, which I have dug up, turned over the earth. I just have to add the peat moss and then the compost. And then those will all be put in Friday. And this is, well, this is, I got all the solar lights out to test them out and see if they work. But this is our uh, Indian corn uh, in here, which um, uh, we start by seed. And there will pop up any time. Back here, we have the two compost bins going that's the one in front is the new one and the one in back is full of compost from last year and then back here's our rain barrel <laughs> and moving up here we have the three um branch teepees here that i built now uh and it matches the one in front this one here uh are uh, sweet peas sweet peas and they'll grow up there the one over here um this is, uh, oh, cucumbers, they'll grow up there. And the one over here is our other moon flowers and morning glories, like the ones in the front. And our Halloween garden is all in. Our bat flower, he's all happy now. He has a new leaf growing. Oh, I'm, I'm happy about that. In the front, we have the dragon's breath colias, the orange um, marigolds, and all around the back are pumpkins on a stick. Ooh, I can't wait to see how they look, really. Oh. And then other than that, this here is for the tomatoes and peppers. Again, the ground's turned over. I just have to amend the soil and get those plants in. And I'm going to do that definitely this weekend. So as you can see, I did get a lot done, but I still have a lot more, <laughs> a lot more to go here. Um, but it's been a lot of fun out here, you know, working and uh, I just can't wait for it to be all done and we can see like the fruits of our labor, right? Uh, well, besides herbs, that is, you know, and, uh, you know, our teepees here, 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 and all the way down here, uh, I'll be putting out solar lights and they'll go from here to here. They're string lights that are, that are, that are solar lights and then we'll light up the pathway with our the ones that stick in the ground so we'll have some nice lighting out here of course that stuff is last but why do you want to do it first i always want to do it first you know the sculptures the the, the lights all that stuff but um i have a little i have more important things to do right <laughs> and uh and then as you can see like kind of where i'm standing right here this is kind of where the garden begins and then goes all the way down down, 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 down. To our pumpkin patch all the way down here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I am excited to see how everything turns out. And uh, I hope you are, too. I know there are a few people who are following along. And uh, um, I, uh, I have some pictures to share with you later next week. Uh, a few people did the teepees. I just... They're so easy and so rustic and so cool looking, you know, so. And uh, so projects coming up. Well, uh, by the end of this weekend, every one of those plants that I have are will be in the ground and everything's seeded. But uh, those plants need to be put in the ground. Now, normally I do. Um, I like to have everything in by the first week of June. And we're only in the second week of June. But um, uh, the sun, the way the sun comes here uh, uh, towards the end of June. All of this will get six to eight hours of full sunlight. Up until now, they've only been getting like four to six. Um, so that project has to be done. And then um, the walkway with all of the, you know, in front of the herbs here, I have to level that out so we have a place to walk through the garden. So, and then the fun stuff. Yeah, the solar lights and the statues and all the little things that I put in the garden. That, that, that. So, so that was our garden update for you. Ah. Okay, what am I going to do next? Hey guys, hey, happy summer! And we're celebrating in a big way. Oh yes, we are. Y'all, we have so much fun summer content, I don't even know where to begin. And of course, all of our old regular favorites too. Uh, definitely, we have recipes and projects and hauls and trips. All with a little sprinkle of summer. Mm -hmm. So what are you waiting for? Grab that big old beach towel. And your sunglasses. It's going to be an endless summer here on Smokey Steve and Mark. 
Happy summer! Oh, I figured, you know what? Since the only thing I have ready in the garden are fresh herbs, we came up with a fabulous recipe for you. Oh, delicious. It's, oh my God, it's so good. It is a herbed, full apart biscuit loaf. Yes, it is! Say it three times nice. fast. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> and you can start with your own homemade biscuit dough or the canned dough, and that's what we're gonna use today. And this recipe, well, of course, it all starts with the ingredients. You got that? I got that. All right, here are the ingredients. All right, folks, you feeling herby? We're feeling kind of herby. So here are the ingredients. We have one half teaspoon of salt and pepper, one quarter of a cup of butter melted, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and then we have rosemary, parsley, oregano, thyme, chives, and of course, it wouldn't be an herb biscuit without the dough. I'm gonna turn that over to Mark. Okie jokey. While Steven is chopping up our herbs, I'm working on our dough. And for our dough, you're gonna need three cans of the uh, refrigerated uh, biscuit dough. That would be the small cans that have 10 in them, like the cheapy cheapy cans, you can get them for like 99 cents, they're 95 cents a giant. You'll need three of those. If you use the bigger cans, like the grands, you're gonna wanna take each biscuit and cut it into four pieces. And then we're just putting some flour down like this and we're just pressing them out to kind of, you know, circle or an oval, just like that. Uh, and you're gonna wanna do that to all of your uh, biscuits like this. And then I have a nine by five loaf pan here, which I lined with parchment paper. And I have some hanging out here because it'll make it nice and easy to pull out. <laughs> and then all we're gonna do is layer these in here like this. There's no way, like just throw them in um, and, and, and just try to keep them like upright. That's all. Do, 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 do. All right, just like that. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's see how Steven's doing with those herbs. All right, so we are done chopping our herbs. Now let's just put this baby together. So here's the herbs. We got a little bit bigger of a bowl. We're also gonna add the one tablespoon of garlic, chopped. Don't miss any of that. And the salt and pepper. Then we're gonna go in with our melted butter. Get a brush of some sort. We happen to have silicone, silicon, and um, use a regular one, of course, but we want to mix it up well, and then we're going up top here. We're going to spread this over our biscuit mixture until it's all gone. So if you think it's too much, keep going until it's gone. And um, when we get back from this, I'll show you its final shot before it hits the oven. All right. If that's not a picture, I don't know what is. Mmm. That looks good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And now we bake in a preheated 350 degree oven until it's nice and golden brown. And that'll be, oh, about 28 to 32 minutes. Okay? All right. Sir. All right, let's take a look. Let's see how we did. Ooh. That looks good. It smells even better, too. I gave it a couple of pokes just to check the center. This turned into 35 minutes for us to get the center done and the top not, not so dark. So I'm really excited. I actually like Monte Carlo bread, stuff like that. Um, and we will catch up and give you a taste of it. And are you have it, our herbed biscuit pull apart though. Mm, it smells so good. It's the whole so house. Good. I went outside while it was baking and came back in, mm -hmm. and it was like, like herbs, herbs and garlic, and oh. and toasty bread, and it, you know, looking very good. Yeah, I have did. to say again, thirty-five minutes, but check with your oven. Ours is a little screwy. You know, our oven, it's, uh -huh. it's awful. At yeah. twenty minutes, it was a little bit browned, but stick something in the center, even a uh, temperature thing, a thermometer, or right, something, right, yeah. do a certain thing. But I was using a knife, poked in and out. If it's not slimy, it's done. It's good. Yeah. So. And uh, you know you should be able to just pull her apart. It should be pulled apart, Fred. Let's see. see. 
<laughs> it is. Oh, it's look at it's still steaming. It's still steaming. Oh, this is great. This is <gasps> Love it. Oh, oh, this would be perfect with some soup or like, you know, put it in the center of the table if you're having dinner and people yeah. can just take Entertaining, pieces. they can just take a little bite, put it out with the hors d'oeuvres. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I bet you could do like a sweet version maybe with cinnamon and sugar. Oh, I'm sure. Same amount of butter, just cinnamon, sugar, a little salt. Yeah. Um, and it would be very tasty. Oh, I also. think that would be good too. Oh, this is exciting. I like it. I, I like how too. it turned out. Maybe next time I'll try to get the butter down in. Down I don't in know. To make, so it brown. But it our oven hard because fluctuates so much. It's horrible. I'm, uh, I'm going to be asking for a new oven very soon. From the landlord, right? Yes. Not y'all. Don't send an oven. I'm not from you guys. <laughs> Don't. No, from the landlord. Uh, and after these seven or so years, I feel comfortable asking you for a few things as an audience. Yeah, not, not maybe not. Frigid air, French door. No. No. <laughs> no. The landlord will come. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Mm. Oh, that was fun to do too. And it was really quite easy. Mm -hmm. And I think I'll try it again and make my own dough. But I like the idea how quick it is using the, yeah. the can biscuits. Mm -hmm. You know, it's And this is pretty much like a $4 investment. Yeah, too. Cheap yeah. biscuits, the a little bit of butter, biscuits, and yeah. whatever herbs you got. Mm -hmm. Dry if that's all you got. And you yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. You can use dry. You don't have to use the fresh. We just did because we were out in the garden, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do like using fresh herbs. Herbs. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Um, anyway. We hope you enjoyed our little hump day popping. I can't put it down. <laughs> I hope you did enjoy. We have a little stuff to snack on later. Me too. A little time outside. What did I make? Oh, I made ravioli soup last night. So that was so good. So this will go with that. With that. This will go with that way. Well, I guess that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. So thank you all for watching and thanks for being here. Uh, please do subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Also, we are on uh, Twitter, no X, Instagram, and Facebook. Mm -hmm. All our contact info is below. Thanks, and we'll catch up with you very soon. Oh yes, we will. I'll be catching you tomorrow night if you pop over on uh, Craft by Jay's channel at seven thirty Eastern Standard Time for a, a live beach themed craft party. Ooh. I may pop in. No, yeah. Oh, I hope you do. To help communicate. Yeah. I mean. um, yeah. You know me. My eyesight's terrible. So he's going to have to help me reading the uh I'll be in the wings. Chat, you know? I'll be in the wings. Definitely. Yeah. So. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. Oh, good. <laughs> Better than you squinting and guessing at work. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I know, right? Well, that's a little weird because we're going to be doing stuff too. Yeah. You know, so. But anyway, yes. Thank you again, everybody. You have a fantastic rest of the week. And we'll see you next time. All right. Ciao, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.